We did say we were taking you to the Tema motorway stretch, and there you have it. If you saw that little bit and you had your mouth wide open, that's just the tip of the iceberg if you've used that stretch recently. Well, on the ground, my colleague Carlos Caloni is assessing, finding out what exactly has been happening. He's been interacting with a few people. Carlos Caloni, uh, do let me know, what, what so far have you gathered? And uh, you can go ahead with your interactions with uh, commuters on that stretch. Here, yeah, I mean, on the road uh, that leads from the Tama to Accra side. Behind me, you can see the level of traffic that goes all the way to the Ajay Kojo area. And this is happening because of the potholes on this portion of the road. Now, myself driving from Tama to this place took me about 45 minutes uh, due to the state of the road and this is not happening this is not the first time this is happening this has been happening for a, a lot of months now uh, because of the potholes on the Lakpakpala bridge here on the Accra Tama motorway uh, we will try to speak to a few of the motorists to understand how this is actually affecting them but before we do that the interesting uh, aspect of this whole thing happening here on the motorway is that two right hailing uh, drivers uh, who are uber and yango drivers uh, have decided to volunteer today to fix this potholes uh, that actually causing the gridlock on this stretch and i'm going to be speaking to them to find out uh, when they got here and what actually motivated them to engage in this particular activity here so uh, as you can see in your shot you have Emmanuel and Asante. They are busily uh, taking this um, uh, earth here to fill the potholes on the Accra-bound uh, stretch of the accra Tama motorway. And so I'm going to be engaging with them to understand uh, what really uh, motivated them to do this. Um, you are live on Joy News. Uh, what's your name? My name is Kodjo Asante. Um, okay. All right. And your name is? My name is Emmanuel Boateng. Great. So these are two right hailing uh, drivers. Their vehicles are parked right here uh, in your shot. You can see these two vehicles parked here. They came here purposely to ensure or to, to fill the potholes to uh, help or enhance uh, traffic flow. These are the two vehicles in your shot. And these are the drivers with me who have decided to volunteer to fill the potholes. And so I'm going to be speaking to them. Uh, okay. So. Uh, Yuma, sure. tell us, uh, what time did you get here? Okay, great, 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 wonderful. Yeah, this morning we wake up around 5.30 a.m. and we came through the motorway. Because of the purpose, purpose we are here, because the road was very bad. And then we have road minister and the, the president. But the president himself have a road minister. But he didn't know that the road was bad or not. But as we are Uber drivers and boat drivers, and we always use the road. And the road was uh, snatching our ties. That we have a puncture, all those. And we are thinking about it. How are we going to make it? But the plan is that we wake up this morning, we said, no, my friend, let's go and construct the road. The port was everything. There's a sun on the roadside. Let's start taking the sun and close the port holes on the road so that it can help all of us. So as we are here, we are here for the nation and we are here for the, all of us. Those people stay around Dawenya and Tema. They are coming, they have to reach office around maybe 12, 12 and 11 a.m. But we have to see. The road was very bad, so we start doing it. As the government is looking there, as we are here, we are here for all of us. Mm. We are here for all of Ghanaians. Everyone is using this road. People from Tamale, people from Takrade, everyone use this road. So it, it is, it, even though the time we reach here, some of them blast their tie. And we say that, have you seen it? It's very bad. It's breaking all of us. So as we are here, we are here for helping all of us. All right, thank you. So uh, when you arrived here around 5 a.m., what was the traffic situation? There's a heat of traffic from here to um, Pram Pram, Ashama overhead, from Pram Pram to uh, Dawenya Road. That's where the traffic, the traffic from. So we are here. We are working. We are doing our best. Okay. Let me let me engage uh, Asante to a bit. So you came here around 5 a.m. Yes, and uh, in fact, when I arrived here, I saw you actually uh, pouring this earth onto the road. And tell us, 
when you came and now, what has changed in terms of the traffic flow? Oh, uh, please. Um, we started to uh, fill the portals. Mm -hmm. Now we see that uh, now the traffic is moving. Mm -hmm. It's moving. It's moving. So now, now what you have did, maybe people are to appreciate us. They can give us something small. We don't think about any money or something. Mm -hmm. But we just use our own money to buy water. Mm -hmm. And today, our sales, we don't think about sales. For the nation, we, we think about the nation. So today says, whether we get it or we don't get it, that one is not concern us. You see? So we just, we, we just um, I mean, help the nation that the, the, the traffic should move and it should move and move to help everybody. So why have you decided to uh, forfeit your daily sales? I mean, if you had gone to work today, you would have made some good money and you are spending uh, the time to do all of this. Why? I see, I, I just, I'm a volunteer. As a volunteer, you don't think about whatever you get today or tomorrow. Maybe something is going to happen. You don't know. So that's why we decided to come here to come and fill the portrait for everybody. It's not me alone. So I use this motorway day in, day out, night, every day. So I just help everybody to fill the portrait and it should work nicely. All right. Share with us your experience on this stretch. I mean, in the night when you drive. Uh, on this road. The fact that we have no street lights and this particular portion is very bad. Share those experiences with us. Um, in terms of light situation, we have a problem. In case maybe uh, your, your light is not good at all, if you are driving in the night at the motorway, you can't see anything. You can't see anything. And there's a portal on the motorway. So if you are coming, if you really make careful, you just burst your tie. You burst your tie. And if you didn't get care careful, you just get accidents and maybe you involved in something. So that's why we volunteer ourselves to help the people. And those who doesn't know the road well, if they are using the road, they will use the road carefully. All right, so do you intend to spend the whole day here? Yes, I intend to spend the whole day here to help the people. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind whether my sales, I won't get, I won't get my sales or I'll get my sales. I won't, I, won't, I won't mind. I want to spend the whole day here to help everybody. Yeah. What would you want to say to the Ghana Highways Authority and uh, the road ministry uh, regarding the state of this road? In fact, the potholes at this particular spot. Uh, please, um, the Ghana Highway, the Ghana Highway, they know, they know that the road has poor, but they know, they know that the road has poor, but I don't know the reason why they, want, they don't want to fix the road for us, because them, they are using siren and other things. So if they are coming... They just use motor cage and pass. So we can spend the whole day on the motorway. Mm. As an example, our fuel to the fuel to is expensive. So you just be in the motorway and just spend your, uh, what do you call it, your petrol and so much of things. And you see, the, the, the day will, you, you, the day will, I mean. Yeah, it, you, you just waste the entire yes, time. Thank you so time. much, uh, Asante. Uh, Yuma, before I, I let you go, yeah. uh, what, what would you want to say to the uh, Ministry of Road as well as Ghana Highways Authority? Okay, actually, the Ministry of Road, um, Oforiata and um, uh, what do you call? Um, Amakwata, you mean Amakwata? Honorable Amakwata, he is aware that the road was very bad. But maybe the income is not coming. So we can't put pressure on him. But he also has to think about us. As the thing is spoiling or is going wrong, he needs to take care of us. And he needs to come on the road and look at it. If the road is not done, some of the portals should have been cover all, all those, you know. And we need, we all of us, we are, we are, we are, the, we are the, 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 the nation. So we also, we need to help. Okay. But there's nothing bad. Even though today we leave our cars, says getting the money is not a problem for us we don't have but we know that we don't have but we also try our best to help all of us on the road all right so the lot right you are using to fill the pothole if it rains now it's going to be uh, washed away do you intend to come here uh, i mean regularly to ensure that this yeah even though the tools we are using the uh, wibalo and the shovel i went to rent it from some man I rent it to do the work for ourselves. So we rent the machine to do the work. Yo, so we all, all from your own resources. Yeah, it's, it's from my pocket. Mm. I use my own money to rent the mm. shovel and then the wheelbarrow mm. to do the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but people are driving through. Mm. They don't have to even buy water for us. Okay. But we don't care, we don't mind. Right. We don't look at anyone. Mm. So we are we are praying. We Thank are you. praying. We are praying. Thank you so much. So that uh, was Emmanuel and as well as Asante. They are two ride-hailing um, drivers who are currently on the motorway. And what they are doing is that they are filling the portal with some latrite here. 
and uh, it's according to them it's their own way of uh, uh, you know solving the problem or helping solve the problem and so we are still here on the Lakpakpa bridge where uh, potholes are just uncountable and we as you can see in your shot uh, that um, Asante and Emmanuel they are risking their lives you know trying to fill these potholes to enhance free flow of traffic I mean uh, they, they deserve some uh, commendation but their safety is what we, we are looking at uh, and since morning they've been here from 5 a.m. up to now and indeed we can say that uh, the flow of traffic has improved a bit uh, because it's making vehicles uh, to move a bit faster at this spot. The only concern is that if it rains now, uh, this particular material you see in your shot uh, definitely is going to be washed away. And so you can look at the traffic situation from this angle, and this is it. So when the vehicles get to this portion, they need to slow down, which is creating the snake effect, all the way to the Ajay Kojo and sometimes to um, Ashaiman underpass. And so what they are doing is definitely a temporary measure just to enhance free flow of traffic. They intend to be here the entire day to ensure that vehicles are able to move. And so what you are seeing are live pictures from the Accra Tama motorway on the Accra bound uh, stretch of the motorway. I have one, uh, uh, you know, motorist who would want to share his um, uh, experience with us on this particular sport. Yeah, so uh, you're, you're, you're live on uh, Joy News. Uh, give us your name and tell us, how long uh, have you been in this traffic this morning? Uh, about almost one hour, 30 minutes now. Mm. And uh, my name is Nene Mateduo. I'm a chief of Usuduku. And I'm a Kapua driver. Almost one hour, 30 minutes now from motor runabout, getting to um, this... Abatwa, Abatwa, one hour, 30 minutes. And it's very embarrassment. It's big embarrassment. Thank you very much. What then would you want to say to the authorities regarding this uh, situation? I don't know. I don't know what to tell them. It's a shame. It's a big shame. And there's nothing I can do. Because I'm a staff of Ghana Port and Authority. I don't want to be sacked. Because if you don't know how to talk, they just sack you. So I beg. I'm thinking of my wife and my children. Thank you very much. So, uh, impact on your fuel and the time you spend? Yes, yes. I have to go and work in the afternoon. By 1.30, to I have to be in the port. And I'm going to service my car at Abosokai. And look at the inconveniences. And it's big embarrassment. So, you drive at Ghana Port and Harbors Authority, which means that you often use this road in the night and all that. Share your personal experience with us when you get to this particular spot. This particular spot, every day there's traffic on this, particular this area, this area. And you know, when you are driving at night, all of a sudden, some car will just break down. And if you are not careful, you jump the car. So here is, we the driver, we call here dead trap. This is a dead trap. And it's a big embarrassment. Because even having been to outside, but no Togo, Benin, Nigeria, I've been driving there, no Burkina. And these people, we don't regard them. But when you go to that country, you don't see these things there. So it's a big embarrassment. So thank you very much. All right, please your name again. Yeah, I, my office name is Bismarck Harrison Lawe, mm -hmm. but I'm a chief. Okay. Yeah, Nene Matedua II of Osuduku. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Have a safe journey and please drive a safe. And so uh, that was um, a motorist actually sharing his thought with us with regards to the potholes uh, uh, on this particular Accra bound stretch uh, of the Accra Tama motorway. And so that's the traffic situation. We'll try to see if we can zoom in far away so you can see the length of this particular gridlock here on the Accra bound stretch of the Accra Tama motorway. It goes all the way to Ajay Kojo and according to them, uh, drivers say they are spending hours, you know, in this gridlock just to uh, cross about five or so kilometers. And so the pictures you see are live pictures from the Accra Tama motorway where two ride hailing uh, drivers have actually um, decided this morning to, to, to volunteer the entire day uh, to fill this pothole, which is actually helping ease free flow of traffic. I'll try and see if I can get uh, some of the motorists to speak to and, and, and to, to find out from them what they make of the situation. Yeah, so uh, these are live pictures uh, in your shot. And so uh, 
we will be uh, uh, trying to speak to other uh, motorists uh, to find out from them what they make of uh, the volunteer work uh, that these two ride hailing drivers are actually undertaking and also uh, the long-term permanent solution that they would want the authorities to uh, look at. And so we are coming to you live from the Accra Tema motorway. It's, it's, it's a bit difficult uh, getting some of the motorists to speak to, but as you can see in your shot, the uh, pothole situation has created a lot, a lot of um, uh, gridlock on the stretch. Uh, let me try and bring your attention to uh, how bad the road is. Uh, it's a bit dangerous, but we, we're going to be careful uh, to try to show to you. So you can see in your shot here, this is the level of damage. And this is just one out of the hundreds of the potholes on this particular stretch. Uh, other places, you could even see iron rods. In fact, uh, when I arrived here, portions of it, uh, iron rods were still exposed. But because the laterites have been uh, uh, poured onto it, it's been filled up. And that's why we are unable to see iron rod. But all of this part, so when the vehicles go, get to this point, they are compelled to slow down, uh, which is actually causing the gridlock you see uh, behind. And so we'll keep our eye on the situation and try to see if we can speak to uh, some motorists. And so if you are watching us, these are live pictures from the Akratama motorway and the updates or the news is that two ride hailing um, uh, you know drivers have decided to uh, volunteer today to fill these potholes here this morning uh, according to them the neglect and the experiences they've had on the stretch uh, is a bit too much for them and they wouldn't want others or other road users to go through such a, a situation for which reason they have decided to uh, undertake uh, this particular uh, work that you see in your picture. And so that's the situation. We are trying to see if we can speak to some of the motorists. Uh, for now, it's a bit difficult uh, getting them, uh, but that is the situation here on the Accra Tema. That is my colleague, uh, Carlos Caloni, of course, uh, bringing us the latest from the Tema motorway stretch there. The unfortunate scenes, and you can still see in your shot uh, what they are having to do. And even with this patchwork, should there be any rain, it will all be washed away. And that is creating quite a situation by way of the traffic uh, congestion, the gridlock on uh, that stretch. We'll bring you more uh, on that in our subsequent shows and uh, bulletins. But do stay with us. We'll be back with a lot more. We had that conversation on dialysis um, as far as our medical facilities are concerned and the latest statement from the Kolibu Teaching Hospital. Well, saying that it is going back, it is rescinding its decision to increase the charges. And we know what the dynamics are by way of uh, tax. We'll be bringing you details of that right after the break. Before we take that break, though, your favorite TV game show in Ghana, Step Up, is back with another amazing season. This time we're stepping up with Syntex Tank. Step Up with Syntex Tank. We'll see contestants answer trivia questions to win cash prizes of 400 Ghana CDs, all the way up to the sum of over 6,000 Ghana CDs weekly, and also get other products from our sponsors this season. You viewing at home should watch out for the syntax uh, question of the week. Be the first to answer correctly via WhatsApp or SMS to the number 0508-338-888 and win incredible prizes from sponsors. The person who answers most of the weekly questions the fastest gets a 65-inch Samsung television at the end of the season. Step up with Syntex Tank, a unique television experience. Step Up with Syntex Tank is sponsored by Bell Ice, MTN Momo, and Angel Cola. We'll be right back after the break. <laughs> 